navigate your way out of porn. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, neuroscientist and sex addiction coach. In this video, let's talk about three main concepts, how they impact your brain and what to do about it. So number one is nature, nurture and navigate. Those are all the three components that have to do with why you go back to the screen to self-soothe and to feel okay and to take the edge off of stress and boredom. I'm gonna break them down for you. Then number two, I'm going to explain to you what happens in your brain when you're doing that and what you can do different instead. That's number three, your brain tip strategy for the day. So let's dig in. Let's talk about nature and nurture two sides of the coin and navigate, which is new in terms of uh, neuroscience. So you may have heard nature and nurture before, and I've talked about it before on this channel. I know I have videos on nature and nurture. So basically nature means that we are born with genes, and I don't really love using the word genes because I've made a video on epigenetics. So epigenetics means above genetics. And so I rather think about it as familial predisposition, which means brains don't fall far from the tree. So what I mean by that is that your brain pattern functions very much like your parents, which functions like your siblings. Family's brains are alike. That's nature. You're born with a brain that's like your family's. And so what that means is you engage in the world in a way that's very similar to the way that your parents did. And actually my little daughter, Sersha said that, said something the other day. We were cruising and um, in North Carolina, actually this never happened in Buffalo, but in North Carolina, there's squirrels that will run out in front of the car all the time. I call them squirrels with a death wish. You've met me, right? So there was a squirrel with a death wish, cruises out, little guy too, cruises out in front of my car. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and I was waiting for the crunch that, you know, of him being squashed under my giant truck's tires. Got my truck back, by the way. So then I don't hear the crunch. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. No, I didn't kill that squirrel. And my little daughter said, you know what, Patty, because she calls me Patty, you know what, Patty? I really like about you that you're like me, that you don't like to kill animals. And I'm like, sir, you don't like to kill squirrels in the car because I don't, because I've been doing that forever. So first of all, she's like me. She's a mini me. She looks very much like me and she acts like me, but at the same time, so that's the, the nature part. Her brain's very much like my brain. And you know, my whole family, although we have different personality types, we kind of roll the same. But the nurture part is the environment. So not only is her brain like me, she's being grown up in a way like me, because I'm the one who's teaching her. And so when I am glad the squirrel, squirrel with the death wish made it, and she's glad too, I said to her, like, if I like to hit those squirrels, you'd like to hit those squirrels. Because every time a squirrel came out in front of me and I hit him and I cheered, you and I would have been cheering for the last 11 years for all the squirrels we hit. Instead, we're psyched when we don't hit the squirrels. Nature and nurture. But this is the key component, navigate. That's the third piece. So nature is what you're born with in terms of familial predisposition, genetics, or your brain doesn't fall far from your parents' tree. Nurture is the environment that you grow up in. But then, like I just said, I have six kids. So my six kids interact differently within the environment that we have. That's the navigate. That's the special sauce here that we're talking about in this video. So what happens is I could have a kid that wants to hit the squirrels just because inherently they're navigating the world differently than I am. So if that was the case, if every time we didn't hit a squirrel, I cheered, and every time we hit a squirrel, they cheered, they're navigating the world differently. And there's examples um, in twin studies, it's actually very interesting, where there's twins, so they're genetically the same, they grow up in the same household, but one develops a very positive attitude and others develop a negative attitude. So if something goes wrong, and here's an example is, if you know dad comes around the corner and he's all irritated about something and he starts yelling at them to put the cereal and the bowls away, kid number one who has a positive attitude is like, dad is having a cranky day, I'm gonna put this bowl away and I'm gonna skedaddle. 
Kid number two takes that all on, is like, dad's mad at me, I'm not enough, I'm not good enough, I screwed up. That's the navigation, navigating the nature and the nurture. So the, I'm gonna go on to number two, but I'm gonna bring it back for a minute. Number two is the science behind it. It's called neurogenics. The way you navigate the world with what you have depends on how you interact in very certain situations. And if you're always using the same programming, you are programming yourself. So we do have programming from the past, from our parents, from our teachers, from our culture, but our reactions can then also create kind of the definition of the way that we navigate the world. And in my program, I try to teach people to act differently to change their thought systems. So if you take a new action, you will think about the world differently. So the next time a person comes in and yells at you, instead of going, oh, it must be me, if you think that's about them and it has nothing to do with me and I'm gonna extend my love to that person but I'm also gonna protect myself and not let them in on my energy, you will begin to navigate the world differently. Now, what does that have to do with porn? You can do that exact same thing with porn use. So when you realize your use of porn is a reaction. It's the way you've programmed yourself to respond to stress or boredom over time. And I know over time can mean three years, five years, 25 years, 55 years. I get it. If you've programmed yourself for 55 years to respond, to react actually, to react to stress and boredom by going into the screen, you can in fact use neuroplasticity and neurogenics, growing new nerve cells, honing new nerve cells, cutting new neural pathways so that you get different actions and different thought systems by using them, using them every day. So when I say run, don't walk, when you have the urge to go into the screen, have a plan, but run away, what I mean is navigate the world, make a new choice. Every time it presents itself, navigate, nature, nurture, navigate, navigate your way out of the screen, decision by decision. And I know it can be tricky at the beginning, but with every small win, it gets easier because you, you've taught your brain, we don't do that anymore. When, when we feel stressed out, we don't escape. We go work out, offload that stress, and then we approach the thing that's stressing us. And remember too, that stress might just be coming from the AB effect of porn use, which is making it so that you can't break out of this cycle. The A effect is you feel great when you're watching it. The B effect is that you actually are more stressed out in the world because of watching it. So that takes us to number three, which is your brain tip strategy. It's to navigate differently. So what I encourage you to do in this video is figure out the times, especially that you're reacting, you're going to a default mode of how you interact in certain situations. And the easiest thing to do is to think about the difficult situations in your life. So when you get angry, why are you defaulting to angry? When you wanna run into the screen, why are you defaulting to that reaction? And when you get more thoughtful, you can have a response. You can respond in a new different way. And instead of going into the screen, you can go regulate your boredom and your stress in a healthy way or approach and engage the thing that needs to be taken care of. And when you navigate in a different way, you're going to get a new outcome. You're gonna break this cycle. You're gonna get on purpose in your life and you're going to be able to achieve your goals and your dreams. And then life is a beautiful place to be. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And if you're looking for help on this journey, uh, reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. I would love to be involved. I have programs in different shapes and sizes to fit your needs. And as always, control your brain or it will control you.